Hello. Hey, this is Tucker here. I heard you have some questions for me. So let's take the question then. So yeah. uh, the very first thing that I want to ask you is that uh, can you please explain uh, that feeling on that day when you saw your result? As okay. Actually, of course. So, uh, that is the like most common question that I hear. So like yeah, uh, so. I got the result. I was waiting for the result from 6 p.m. I was opening my portal again and again, again and again. And like when the result came, I was like really astonished. Uh, it was like what happened? I was expecting a rank because I was preparing for like around past two and a mm -hmm. half years. So when I got the rank, it was like uh, okay, okay, okay. I, I couldn't feel anything. But then at oh. later point of time, at later point, I realized that yes, this is a rank. People are like knowing me, and then it became like almost like normal in two or three days. But yes, those two days. Like I was getting call again and again. I was getting call, uh, getting call from my coaching classes, my friends, my relatives. It was like really, really good. Oh, that's really amazing. I can't wait to see, feel the same way. <laughs> okay, sure. uh, but uh, anyway, the mm, see, uh, I'm also starting to prepare for uh, game. Okay. So, yeah. uh, what are the very first things that to we we should keep in mind while preparing for gate exam? Okay, so. As far as only gate is concerned, see, there are two things. One is knowledge, one is gate exam. If you want to crack gate exam, you should practice papers. You should know what type of questions actually come and you should have problem solving ability in you. That yeah. is one thing. Second thing is that you should know the concept. So what I feel that, uh, like, can I like get your full uh, data that uh, in which you are right now? Current? Uh, like I'm currently in my third year. I'll be okay. moving on to the fourth year next year. Okay, seventh semester you will be moving. Yes, to, right? yes, yes, yes. So see, you you are left with almost around ten months. I okay. think ten to eleven, uh, ten to nine to ten months. Uh, yeah, okay, nine to so, ten months. Yes. Uh, so what I suggest is that for such people, what you can do is that for next four months you should make a strategy. That first you should what you should do is that you should find out what are the important subjects, or you can go through any analysis that the key subjects from where questions actually come. Okay. Yes, yes. First thing you should do that. Second thing what you can do is that you can find out your core area that the subjects you are comfortable with. Mm -hmm. Now align both of them that what are your favorite subjects or your comfortable zone and what in that comfortable zone, what questions you can attempt. Now for first one month, you should practice that. Yes, okay. Yes. Now for next four month strategy will be that you should study the theoretical part. Okay. Mm -hmm. Suppose you are from mechanical engineering. Yes. So, uh, so mechanical. Uh, you are from production engineering. No, I'm from mechanical engineering. I'm just ah. in, uh, theory part is in production mostly. Okay, okay. So let's start with the first topic only. Like first is engineering mathematics. Now, yes. suppose you will be referring one standard book, mathematics. As like personally, I recommend that for mathematics you need to solve around 600 to 700 questions. If okay. you are solving these this much of question, you have plenty amount of time. You can attempt okay. around 30 to 40 questions per day. And yes. within like within like around 15 to 20 days, your maths levels will be over. So okay. one thing is that your, for maths, you should give 20 days. Then moving on to the applied mechanics and the design part, which is actually the core area for the mechanical engineering. Yes, yes, of course. For, so, mecha so first topic is engineering mechanics. For that, what you can do is that you can just practice around 300 or 2 to 300 questions. You don't need to refer any book. Since it is a very common topic, you have studied this during your 11th and 12th also. Yes, so for this, it will be very easy for you to handle the question in an examination if you are solving, actually solving some around 80 to 90 unique questions. I hope you mm -hmm. understand the meaning of yes, unique yes, question. Yes, yes, so yes. You, you need to practice around 80 to 90 unique questions and you can practice around 200 to 300 such questions, like two to three questions from each type. Okay. okay, and you need not to refer any book for engineering mechanics. Then okay, comes the okay. part for mechanical, that is SOM, strength of material. For mm -hmm. that, uh, I would suggest you should uh, like refer Timoshenko for theory. And yes, if you are not referring any book, uh, if you are not referring also, it is okay. But yes, you should practice a lot of questions from Bansal. Uh, yes. That is like one of the best book that I feel for the engineering, sorry, for SOM. Strength of material. Okay. Yes. Strength of material. Then comes the part for theory of machine, one single book, SS Ratan. It will be easy yes, for you, to, for Ratan. Uh, so you, what you can do is that you can finish that book within 13 to 14 days. I, mm -hmm. What happens that in theory of machines, there are certain very famous topics from which the question comes. That is like acceleration analysis, then mm -hmm. gear and gear trains. So there yeah. are very standard. See, the whole mechanical syllabus, there like 40% of the syllabus will cover the questions that 
from where actually question can come and the rest 60% of the syllabus will be there there is a chances that the question will come so yes you okay. should focus you should find out the important areas as i told you earlier also from where the question can come and you should practice around 20 years of previous year question yes, at sir. least okay then okay. vibrations will vibration is there i hope you will like vibration is very small topic you can uh, go through any yes, course material notes then comes mm-hmm. the machine design now this is a yeah. very important topic for mechanical engineering perspective mm-hmm. so for that right. you can refer any i preferred bhandari for this maybe bhandari and uh, so actually that? i i i actually you like initially i was preparing for mechanical engineering weight only but then i due to my interest switch i switched to this production engineering so in production mm-hmm. mach, uh, machine design is not much but yes vb and bhandari is a very good book as far as theory mm-hmm. and both numerical is concerned and mm-hmm. machine design is a quite complex topic so you will get easy numerical from this because yes, if they yes. give very I complex numerical ha yes. so they very straight forward formula ha very straight forward because they, there is a pattern that any if any institute is preparing the gate paper it will be it is fixed that you will be able to fix uh, like solve the question within 90 seconds Yes, yes. every question you can okay. solve within 90 sec- seconds it is set in that particular way okay, okay. so yes. machine design if machine complex question from machine design come then mm-hmm. you will not be able to solve it within 90 seconds so that is why straight forward mm-hmm. question comes then okay. comes the part for fluid mechanics it is an easy subject some what as far as gate is concerned you can refer any book like bansal is there and saintel is there if you want to go deep into the theory part yes it's very vast okay. yes i have seen that book too uh, then heat and mass transfer you can refer pk nag or you can refer any coaching material note but do practice a lot of questions from this end because heat transfer and thermodynamics you get real uh, like what to call the numerical problem from this side okay okay, okay that then is. then there ha huh, anything uh, uh, yes i just wanted to ask uh, like uh, should we prefer standard books for every subject or just uh, okay. we should stick to any study material for any coach, uh, from any coaching institute so okay so this as far as this question is concerned so one thing is that if you have a lot of time more than 15 months of time you should go for the standard books and i personally okay. feel that you the your concept should be clear while yes, appearing yes. for any uh, yeah, i also feel that so and if you are left with around 9 to 10 months i would recommend that you should not go for any uh, like coaching material but yes you can read out some uh, like uh, distance learning program it is if it is possible and solve as much as numerical as possible and okay. for, for especially for mechanical engineering i would suggest that if it is possible give one to two months to ies problem solving if yes, you are yes, solving yes. the conventional problem conventional for ies yes. that will give you more knowledge and more conceptual learning as far as coaching material notes yes, so yes okay. if you are for 10 month strategy you should select some four to five subjects like production for production engineering you need notes because mm-hmm. a lot of theory is there then for around uh, like industrial engineering a bit of theory, like huge theory is there then yes. for soam thermodynamics and fluid small small theory you can read from the engineering material uh, like uh, from coaching material Getting but apart really from that you should you for uh, nine month strategy you should practice a lot of question okay. because that is the only way you can clear the exam okay, okay. So. and uh, i just had one more question that uh, yeah. many of my friends and even i am facing this problem of time management so how should we manage time for this because i guess this is very important time management is the most important thing see what happens that first you sh- you need to give a time that is i'll study around what i used to do is that uh, you can give that i'll study around 4 to 5 hours daily now okay. what i used to do is that I, i used to wake up at around 4 am now it is not recommended for you or it is not forced on you if it yeah, is possible you can everyone is not suitable for uh, that ha huh. so if you want you can study late night because that is the time when your family is asleep and your friends are not there okay. so at that is a quiet time so i would i recommend that you should give around 2 hours early in the morning or late in the night apart mm-hmm. from that and that is the time where you should learn the concept so you should learn the theory part and apart okay. from that apart from that any time like 3 or 2 to 3 hours if you get in evening or in the afternoon in afternoon also the place is quite as for me it works so in afternoon also everyone is busy with their work so in afternoon what you can do you can practice the numerical so 5 okay. to 6 hours of study daily is sufficient i particularly feel that so and time apart from that time management is that you should not restrict yourself from playing or 
reaching out to your yeah, network. Yeah, that's what was my, uh, that is exactly what my next question was that um, okay. should we isolate ourselves from uh, social activities like no, 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 Facebook, no, WhatsApp I, or any social gathering? Actually, see, it, it completely depends on you. If you are giving a lot of time of yours in social activity, then obviously you should refrain or restrict yourself. Yes, yes, yes. But if you are limited to one to two hours, that is very common and that needs, your mind needs to relax. And you should be like in a condition that whatever you are studying, that should be effective. I personally, there is a Hindi statement that I feel that come padu par bam padu. That is, that, <laughs> yes. that is, that is, if you are giving five hours, that should be to the point. Everything okay, okay, should be to okay. the point. Okay. So, so select, uh, select five hours so, of your. Uh, yes. See? Yes, yes. So basically the key to uh, crack gate examination is to practice a lot of question and to okay. um, manage the time. Exactly. Time management is very important. Give yes. your time that I'll give two hours to concepts and three hours for numerical. At least you should solve around 100 numericals daily. 100 numericals daily. Okay. And it is it is a matter of fact. And you should, uh, why I'm saying is that you should be in a condition to solve the numerical within 90 seconds. If you okay. are able to solve the numerical within 90 seconds, it will be around 9,000 seconds. So just like, uh, sorry, 900 seconds. So what, okay. like, so how you are going to manage it? Suppose you are seeing a question. Initially, you take around like two minutes, two and a half minutes to solve the question. Mm -hmm. But you should be, if you are practicing 100 numericals daily, it will be easy for you to manage the time and reduce it to around 80 seconds, 70 seconds. Okay. Yes. So that is, that is very, very important. Okay. Thank okay. you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much for your guidance and it's uh, great talking to you. Great talking to you. Hope you get a very good rank and wishing you all the best for future.